So I thought I'd share um, a quick insight into some basics of content marketing and some things that you might be able to adapt to help you create content. Um, content is what drives your social media platforms and your marketing. Uh, and in this period of lockdown where many of your customers are actually gravitating far more towards online services, social media, actually getting some really useful and valuable content out there is absolutely critical but it can be difficult to find and it can be difficult to create um, so here's a little a tip one of the most critical things about content is to tailor it to specific groups of people it is far better to reach a small number of highly engaged people than a huge number of people who don't really give a stuff about what you do um, and that can have a, different products and services can have um, different people interested in them so what I'm going to talk about is, is creating what I call a, a content storm and then doing a hub from that so what I would suggest initially is to pick a particular product or service that you provide uh, in this example we're going to use uh, fitness courses so you deliver fitness courses and that fitness course, um, lots of different people might well be interested in attending a fitness course, but they'll have different reasons for wanting to. So take your fitness course and then kind of around the outside of it, write the different reasons people might want to engage with a fitness training program. So that could be for weight loss, for instance. So people might want to join the class because they want to lose weight. Similarly, it could be for mental health reasons. You know, lots of people um, see exercise and it's been proven medically that exercise does actually help people who are suffering from various mental health issues. It could be recovering from an injury, so they might have injured their back or broken a leg or an arm or something like that, and they're looking for some exercise just to, to help them recover from that. Um, it could be about socialising. A lot of people like to go to um, fitness classes to meet new people and socialise as well as engage in fitness. Or it could be something like conditioning. Um, so the condition, the person who's going to run a marathon or is wanting to increase their level of fitness specifically. So we've got a number of different reasons there why people might be interested in a fitness course. And if you just blanketly say, here's a fitness course, very few of those people are going to engage because there's nothing that really speaks to or encourages them. So what you want to do is once you've identified your different groups of people, you can create content that is going to be specifically tailored for that. So for instance, if you take this fitness course in terms of um, weight loss, and lots of people want to attend fitness courses to help them lose weight. So you take the weight loss group that people are going to be um, engaging with, and you think, what is it that is going to be of interest to them? So it could be uh, a top tips, you know, create a video, the top tips of using exercise to lose weight. So you could provide a case study of someone who's been through it, which will raise confidence that it is something that is achievable, if something that other people have gone through. Frequently asked questions, often a fantastic piece of easy to grasp content people ask questions all the time just collate the ones that are most frequently asked and tweet them or, or put them onto a, a canva um, photograph and put them onto instagram or facebook you now you've got before and after photographs this is me before i started the training this is me afterwards you could write a blog about how effective um, gentle exercise can uh, with good diet and nutrition can help you lose weight and you can provide links from your social networks to the blog, which drives people to the website, which is where they can book on to the training course. And also it could be some quotes. So take quotes from customers, quotes from the blog, um, quotes from experts who have talked about the efficacy of gentle fitness in losing weight. What you've done is you've crafted some content that's specifically for that particular interest in your particular product. And it's much easier then to get people interested because it's relevant to them. Now, the other four elements, the people we talked about, the people looking for fitness or recovery or mental health, they're probably going to ignore that content. And that's fine because do you know what? Next week, you can do some content for them. It is much better, particularly for a small business working on your own, having to manage this yourself, it's much better to try and do one thing at a time. If you consider all five of those groups, if you try to, to create content five times a day for five different groups of people, it, it's too much. 
So focus, this week I'm gonna focus on promoting my fitness training courses or whatever the business is for this particular group of customers and you create content that's appealing to them the following week or the following day, however you want to manage it, you can then say, well, what do this group of people want from that particular product? And what you do is you end up selling the same product, but you sell it to different people in different ways. They all end up on the same training course and they will get the value from that course, but they got there through different pathways and you engage with them in different ways. So try to differentiate as much as you can. Pick a product or a service, such as a, a fitness course. Think about the people who might be interested in that and the reasons they might be interested and then create specific content for them and feed it through whichever networks they are most likely to be on. So I hope that is a useful little insight into how to create and craft some content for your social networks and for general marketing. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, by all means, you can share it with other people uh, and give it a, a thumbs up so more people can see it. Um, but as always, stay well, keep safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.